Pastos Biology Topics from the Study Guide Now again, this is a simplification. But remember, cholesterol is a steroid. Here's the basic four-ring structure with a lot of side groups attached to it. Now, we hear a lot about how bad cholesterol is, but you have to have it. It's used in making membrane structures. It's used in manufacturing various hormones. So it's necessary. Well, cholesterol, like many other things, is transported in the blood. It combines with protein and other lipids and becomes a lipoprotein. Now there are two major types of these lipoproteins. Low density, or LDL, and high density, or HDL. Now again, keep in mind, this is a little simplified, but essentially this is what happens. In the low density and high density lipoproteins are manufactured, low density lipoproteins chiefly are transported from the liver to the tissue cells. Excessive uh, LDLs are transported back to the liver. Basically, high density phospholipids are transported from the cells, from the tissues, to the liver. Now you'll understand more about what happens when they reach the cells of the body uh, in the next part of this unit, but the tissue cells in their surface membrane have a receptor, an LDL receptor. Now this is a molecule that recognizes and binds to the low density lipoproteins. Now where does that receptor come from? Well notice this is a little part of a cell membrane and what we've done is to enlarge the, the surface of this cell to show the receptor. Now there's a receptor. It's produced by protein synthesis. There's a gene for one or more of the proteins in the LDL receptor. The gene is turned on. Messenger RNA is produced by transcription. The messenger RNA moves out into the cytoplasm, binds with the ribosome, and by translation the amino acids are linked together to form the LDL receptor. Now, a lot of other things happen, too, before the final receptor is produced, but eventually the LDL receptor is deposited in the membrane. Now, you'll understand the role of the vesicles a little later. A good example of uh, the role of cholesterol in the transport is a condition called familial hypercholesterolemia. Now, that sounds like a mouthful. Sounds like quite a phrase to remember, but it's easy. Familial means it runs in the family. Hyper means greater than. Cholesterol refers to cholesterol. And emia comes from heme, and it means blood. So it's a condition, an inherited condition, in which high cholesterol is found in the blood. Now, it's due to a defective LDL receptor. So one or more of the genes involved in producing the protein for the LDL receptor is broken, is defective. And so the LDL receptor doesn't work. Now, the result is that the cells cannot take in cholesterol very well and blood cholesterol levels begin to rise. 